drop a beat. This is how. This is how. This, this is, is how it starts. starts. Y'all didn't know I have a DJ <laughs> name on the weekend. <laughs> drop a different beat. <laughs> All right, it is time for the Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Ooh, Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Thank you. Thank you. Today we won't chew into the mics this time. Is that a better one? <laughs> that was awesome. Whoop, 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 whoop. What's up, fanatics? Welcome to episode 108 of the Funko Funcast, the only official Funko podcast recorded at Funko HQ in Everett, Washington. This is your host, Sully. This is Hillary. This is Cameron. It's Ashley from work. The bloody messenger of world tremble. The peaceful duke will be slain and the queen of evil will reign for millennia when you hear the mysterious voice whispering the forbidden words. Hello, everyone. This is Dima. Hello. Oh, hey, Dima. Hello, guys. Hey, Dima. Hi. How's How are going? you, Dima? Hey, Dima. Hang out. I'm waving at you, Dima. <laughs> hey. Hi. 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 Hello. Oh, perfect pitch. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, a blessing and a curse. Am I right? Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Sweet. I saw one of those movies. Sweet. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's up with you guys? How you been? It's hanging out. It's I'm been a tired. minute. Yeah, my, my, my feet are very cold right now for some reason. You got bad circulation? Wiggle them toes. I don't know. Why, I used to have a numb toe. Uh, one numb toe? That. One numb toe, but it got away. Hmm? Good. Yeah, I went to a foot doctor. He was like, oh, can you feel that? And he started pinching my toes so hard. <laughs> I was like, I am not enjoying this. He said, and he says, uh, oh, I thought your, nose, uh, your, your, your toes were numb. I was like, well, not that numb. He's like, he'll be okay. And then he slapped me on my knee and let me go. Yeah, he was basically wow. like, oh, you you can't feel your toe. Can you feel this? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Takes out a hammer. <laughs> yeah. It's like, God, I hate this generation. <laughs> yes. He had this little Bunch tool. of babies. <laughs> had like this little tool on it. Like, uh, it has like spikes on it as he like oh. runs it around oh. your, your toes. They're like, I'm good. It was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind, never no mind. As you're running out putting your shoe on. Yeah. You just leave the shoe. No, thank you. But I, I do remember he did have very, very warm hands. Mm. Oh, well, you have to have warm hands if you're a foot doctor. Yeah. I feel like all doctors have freezing cold Absolutely. hands. Yeah, they usually do. Yeah. Because they're all and healthy. And sometimes you're physical like, and you're like, Ugh! <laughs> they, they all rub- eat vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I, like <that. laughs> I like when they rub them together like it's going to help and then it doesn't. <laughs> no like, context is needed. That noise <laughs> is exactly how we've all felt at one point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no context. Or like exactly if someone puts meant. cold suntan lotion on you. Oh, <laughs> that's not the right. Same experience. Yeah. Houses. <laughs> That reminds me of something. Does if it? <laughs> this is your first time listening, we record weekly to bring you the latest That's reveals, unrelated. listener questions, <laughs> hints, bad dad jokes, oh. pop culture discussions, and oh our own God. original games, plus some giveaways. Mm. If this is your first time listening, this is not a big sales pitch for everything Funko. We are going to chat and have some fun, so hang around. Uh, and if you're going to fast forward to giveaways, just uh, go ahead and hit that button with the triangle and the line that takes you all the way to the end. What? Rapid fire Whoa. question. In other words, Do goodbye. It. Wait, Dima, go. Uh, ice pickle or hot microwave pickle? Hot, hot or ice, ice pickle? Hot microwave pickle. Ice oh. pickle. Ice pickle. Ice pickle. Ice Ooh, pickle, baby. Team ice pickle. Have, have you guys What's never good? had a hot pickle before? They're good. Well, the answer to that question is exactly <laughs> the same as does pineapple belong on pizza? It's yes. the warm fruit mm, discussion. There we well, go. warm pickles are delicious. Have you never had one on a burger? You'd eat one on a burger, wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 yeah. Why are you standing on your chair? You're not that into pickles, to be quite honest. Yeah, really? me neither. I only really eat them on burgers, but... Have delicious. you ever had a deep fried pickle? Like a pickle chip? I have not. The chip version, not the spear version. The chip yeah, versions yes. are very good. Fried pickles, but oh, you don't spear? like the spears. Do you know why? It doesn't work as well. <laughs> it does not work as well, I agree, yeah. because when you bite into it, the hot pickle juice scalds oh, yeah. no, your right. face and your mouth. And the, the HPJ. Busting out, <laughs> HPJ. Oh. Busting out the pencil. That's a great band name. Hot, hot, hot pickle, pickle juice. juice. Yeah. That can't be I the title. Out there. And live is hot pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, we've probably already given you a few squares already. If you'd oh, like to play along a little Funkus Bingo, we've got a card for you over at ithinkpixels.com slash bingo, or look for any of our recent blog posts for the Funcast, and there's a bingo card in there. Just click on it. Binjo. Play on your mobile device <laughs> if you would like. <laughs> and Binjo was his name And Binjo was his name <laughs> The binge-watching dog? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Netflix dog. That would be Ben Joe. That would be really cute. Netflix, <laughs> create a dog named Ben Joe. Fun cast blast. Fun cast blast. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. 
Yes, it is time for the Funcast Blast. That was Ashley. We've got a box full of questions sent in via email by Funcast listeners. If you sent one in, it might be in here somewhere. It's not even the wheel yet. It didn't even spin. Doesn't matter. Sweet. These questions are rigged. 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 Rick, 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 Our first Rick, question Rick, out of the box Rick, will be answered oh, by <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Extremely rigged. That's Super rigged. <laughs> Ooh, Ashley, believe it or not, we have a question from Afro Freddy this week. Uh-huh. What is something on your bucket <laughs> list that you have not done yet? Travel to Europe. It's Get on over there. Don't go there. It's over there. Why not? Why? I, I thought you were going. I'd like to go to Norway someday because my. I left for a reason. Grandfather was you Norwegian. Were <laughs> <laughs> Your grandfather was what? Mm-hmm. Full Norwegian. All right. Mm-hmm. When so, uh when I when I tuned in briefly to the GameStop stream that you guys were on last week, yeah. At one point they said, "All right, we're playing with Hillary right now. Dima's going to be playing in a minute." And off camera, I heard you chanting "USA." <laughs> it was all proud. Yeah, yeah. Red, white, and blue, baby, <laughs> <laughs> all the way. That would be the one minute you would tune in for. Exactly. You know I was like, "All right, it's going great. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's going great." <laughs> Sully, when you just asked Ashley what her bucket list item would be or place to go, I thought you were. I thought you said butt list, and now I decided Whoa. that there should be a butt list. Places where you would like to sit. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> you always have to give the description well, of what traveling. this is immediately following the <laughs> title of the thing. sitting. Right? What? Traveling. I would like to sit on yeah. Abe Lincoln's uh, thighs. Hmm. Those big statues. Uh, at DC? In DC? Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you for that clarification. It's on the sit not list. Comment. <laughs> sit list? Better than butt list, I, I guess. Know. I guess it's like a regional thing. <laughs> yeah. You know what you mean. That's a question. Coke what is the pop. difference between thighs and laps? I mean, um, do do we have well, time to get into? Oh, well, I, I think we should all, get into this. I all think right. it, I think it's lap and not laps. Okay, laps. so I think a lap, singular lap or thighs. And I think a lap is consists of two thighs. A lap is two thighs. Yeah, like together. together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'm making yeah. hand gestures <laughs> that people cannot see. But I think like your thigh is like the side too, right? Yeah. Oh, really? So it's all it's the way like, around. Yeah. So it's like yeah. So, so it's like a palm of your leg. Hi, I'm a doctor. Let me talk to you about thighs. <laughs> yeah, so a lap is uh, two tops of thighs converged together. Right. Thigh, thigh tops. Is the thigh tops. <laughs> thigh topperous. That is in the medical <laughs> books, right. just that way. Yes. Two touching thigh the tops. The mystery has been solved. The toppins of thighs. Toppins. Thigh topperous. Writing down thigh topperous. Thigh tops. Thigh tops. Thigh tops. Thigh tops. Is tie there tie. a gas leak? <laughs> <laughs> if we start, if our, our voices start getting higher and higher, you know, you know exactly which gas it is. I am tie tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this one is for Dima. Uh, we just for, missed it being like for me. It would have been good for me, but this is okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can get that for me. Why don't you just take that one? No, no, no. I, I like wow. this. Just take it. Uh, from Lucas Great. Bronner for Dima, which actors films? Other than Nathan Fillion, will you always make a point to see in theaters? Ooh, that's, that's a, a good, good question. question. It's a very good question. Uh, I'll say DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. has there been a film of DiCaprio's that you did not care for, or has he been pretty solid across the board? No, there's one. Uh, yeah, where he Dima was, really uh, hates the beach. I love oh, the, I just, like the beach. <laughs> How like dare you? <laughs> you just got called out. Wait, is that serious? You no, really he, didn't like it's like no. his favorite movie. Okay, I was say, <laughs> it's my top three movies. I uh, thought we had talked three. about this. Wow. It's a well done movie. Yeah. Plus, that beach is gorgeous. <laughs> well, until everything went down. Oh, speaking of the beach, I have a tie in to an answer to one of my questions. That will come later? Yeah. Okay. I but thought we were going to just skip ahead. I, but do you have one that you don't like? Yeah, the, 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 he's playing some kind of a smuggler, I think, or something. It's like taking place in the Middle East. Mm. Oh, is that the Blood Diamond one? Well, yeah, yeah, Blood Diamond. Yeah, yeah. I, I for some reason I don't. Care Your geography is a little off, but it's okay. Was, was it? Was it in Africa? I thought Africa? it was in Africa. So we're in Africa. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right, for me, from Robert Vadas, would you rather have the window seat or have the aisle seat? Ooh. This is a good question for me. That's a simple question. Uh, <laughs> for me, I, I need the window seat. What? I do not like. <laughs> this is an outrage. outrage. <laughs> this is an outrage. Let me let me finish my wow. answer. How much? Wow. What are you drinking the airplane? Yeah, Hold on. You, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Okay, and I do need to use. What the, if you're uh, several apple the juices loo deep? <laughs> yeah. On occasion, but here's the reason did you why. Say the loo? I did. I, you know, when you when you frighten me, my English yeah. accent when you, comes when out. When you startle Sully, he actually has an English accent. <laughs> if I sit on the in the center on the on the aisle, yeah. I get whacked by the cart 
and everyone who walks by, because I am a wide-shouldered you're, fella, you're wide. yeah. and uh, if I'm over at the window, I can kind of tilt the body at an angle okay. and be courteous to the middle seat person. If I'm in a middle seat, I've gone straight to hell. That's that's the <laughs> yeah. worst no, possible that's... place for me. Yeah. Are y'all? Am I going too long? Yeah. Are you guys? <laughs> you checking? Anyone? You synchronizing <laughs> watches? <laughs> window left center. Uh, aisle because I don't like other people dictating when I go to pee. I 100% am with you. Mm -hmm. Same. Yes. It depends on if I'm traveling alone or not, though. 100%. If I'm alone, aisle, absolutely. If I'm with other people that I can crawl over without mm -hmm. feeling. <laughs> and you would love to crawl over them. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, unless uh, I'm, in the, unless yes. I'm in the aisle row and then it, or like the um, emergency exit row. And then you can just slip on You by. can just slip oh, right yeah. through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like great. Like a wet lizard. Yep. Like a wet lizard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Untouched. Untouched. You can even keep your tail. Keep that mm. tail. Yep. Like a skink. <laughs> what? A skink. A skink. A skink? Yeah. Yeah. That's a <laughs> type of lizard. It's a type of lizard that loses its tail oh, when you it. grab it. Is that an iguana? Or a gecko? Excuse me? No. How dare Thank you, you pitch, <laughs> pitch gecko insurance on this? <laughs> <laughs> a skink is a little different. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Geico, geico. Geckos are, are almost like frog-like. They're kind of mm. sticky and wet. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Moving right along. I guess not. Next question <laughs> <laughs> from Iridium Pop for Hillary. If you could chrome a pop in your collection, which would it be? And before hmm. you answer, this came up at the Star Wars panel, and I thought it was very interesting, and I think everyone should know this. We found out that a chrome pop is not simply a repainted version nope. of an existing pop, but an actually we have to go. The artists have to go in and create a new mold. Yep. Because of the process that makes a chrome. So. So it's a different sculpt. Just FYI. Um. I think that Chrome Maleficent would be really cool. I thought Ooh, for sure. In, in purple, right? Yep. You were going to say, hey, or Arnold green. in banana suit. Ooh. Ooh. Well, no. Golden <laughs> good one. A golden. I want a gold Chrome <laughs> Hey Arnold in banana. I don't even have that pop. That's good. Wow. I know. I don't know what happened. How dare you? Uh, Iridium says my answer would be a Cthulhu green chrome. Oh, that's, that's a good one. <clears throat> Was it the BAM exclusive or no? I'm just looking around. Pardon? Yeah, Pardon it you? is. Uh, is it the BAM exclusive? A lot of Cthulhu's are BAM exclusives. I, I think it, it was metallic, like. wasn't it? Oh. Did we do a chrome Cthulhu? I don't know. So. We did not. It seems like something we would have done. Yeah, right? Why haven't we done a 10 inch Cthulhu pop? Oh, oh come on. That's a great idea. He's sleeping. <gasps> Next question. For Cameron. I'm for ready. Mani Romos, a.k.a. Night Bodega. If you could change a few things about Everett, what would it be? <laughs> Maybe change the weather a bit or bring in a larger variety of stores and restaurants? restaurants. We 100% we need different, more food options for We're dying lunch. Here. <laughs> I think we could go to the same, like, <laughs> like, three or four places. I think that's, like, the biggest thing. Other than that, I, I don't really – I don't live here. I don't live in Everett, I, so I commute, so I don't really have, like, the same – probably uh suggestions as as residents of everett what do you guys say uh as a proud carrier of an id card that says uh 98201 <gasps> my wow. uh, mm. recommendation would be to add more movie theaters yeah Ooh. a movie theater downtown would be cool like a nice 21 and over yes Ooh. reserved yes, seating please yeah we're mm -hmm. looking at you alamo draft house or cinnabar Oof. when i was in san francisco I saw Endgame at an Alamo Draft House theater for the first time ever in one of those theaters. Amazing. Right? Very good. It was beautiful. You know why I've been preaching now, huh? Yeah, I yep. get it. It was awesome. There was one near our hotel in Dallas, but we just didn't have the time to go uh, partake. If you want to go to a similar one, Cinnabar in um, Mount Lake Terrace is owned oh, by so Al good. Alamo Draft House, and cool. it's similar. They also have one in Bellevue. Yeah, that one's I'll say the nice. Cine Alamo. Cinemark, though. Oh, the one in uh, uh, Lincoln Square, Lincoln too. Square. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we, we the, the, Lincoln, Lincoln 2 Square. Geography. People are like, we don't know what <laughs> That's my preferred are. theater. <laughs> That's a good one. It's also bougie. Bouge. Bouge. <laughs> I wish everyone could see the smile she just threw down on that. Bouge. I like the Alamo Draft House proud. menu better than Cinnabar. Yeah, it's good. All right, that was our Funcast Blast. Thank you to everyone who sent in Thank questions. You. And if you'd like to send in questions for future Funcasts, you can email them to podcast at Funko.com, which is not a customer service channel. Hmm. All right, next up is the Fanatic of the Week. We choose a new winner every Friday based on submissions from fans all over the world. This week it was Emily was our winner. Emily from Michigan who had some amazing photos of her collection and her posing, like professionally done photos, uh, taking collecting to a whole new level there. She's been collecting for six years. And when we asked her what her Funko story was, she said, uh, I have so many. Funko is family to me. 
When I was 12, pops were really just starting to become popular, and you would see the little displays in Barnes & Noble all the time, and I was absolutely obsessed. Capital letters, obsessed. Yes. I would, should scream it, but I don't want to blow the mic out. <laughs> but when I was younger, I had tons of obsessions and moved on pretty quickly. And we really didn't have a whole lot of money, so my mom was not about to spend $10 on a toy I'd lose anyway. <laughs> For months, I persisted, begging for one every time I saw one. One day, I was with my grandpa at Walgreens, and that was the first time I had seen Pop anywhere but a bookstore, and the Brad and me came out. I'm <gasps> sure that's not the case. That's nice. what she wrote, but I practically down on, got down on my hands and knees and begged him to buy me the little Iron Man figure, and he did. From there on, I was absolutely hooked. Now my collection has absolutely become part of my identity. I've met such amazing people in the community, and these adorable little figures just mean the world to me. Oh. Yeah, go check out uh, Emily's story on the Funko blog at Funko.com. And then if you would like to apply, scroll down to the bottom of that post, and there will be a link. Send in answers to the questions. Not yes, no answers. Full question. Full answers. And photos. And if this is the first time you've heard us talk about it, <laughs> make, make sure there's some good photos. Those are the actual ones we'll use in the blog post. Turn the lights on. Don't throw the camera in the air spinning when you take the photo. Make sure your whole face and or body is in the photo. It's your choice. Completely hide in the background. <laughs> I, got a, I got a real talk question to you guys. Uh-oh. What was your... What was a hobby that you spend the least amount of the time on like you know it's like so the it one was you like gave up on quickest yeah like the quickest <laughs> so you're like i i'm not gonna do that stamp collecting stamps <laughs> yeah i wow. had like 25 stamps and i think 20 of those came in a little starter pack and after i got mm. the other five i was like i'm done with this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i i can't think of anything because i think at least anything that i tried to pick up i went pretty intense for a little while uh-huh are you looking for something that just didn't continue? Yeah, it just didn't continue. I mean, maybe Pogs. Mm. Pogs? Okay. Because that's just, they weren't popular anymore. Mm -hmm. I tried collecting magic cards. Mm. Okay. That was too expensive. To it was very expensive, <laughs> and I had no idea what any of it was. Like, <laughs> I, there was no game associated with it, like with Pokemon cards, and I didn't really know, like, how to play the game, really. So I was just basically collecting these, at times, very scary-looking cards for no reason. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Usually if I decide I'm going to do something, I, I do it. Like, I'm all in kind of thing. Uh, I guess maybe, like, like some type of, like, art project. Like, cross-stitch I gave up pretty quick because that's yeah. just freaking tiny and hard to look at. <laughs> but <laughs> other than that, no. I used to make collages a lot. Oh, really that was such that a thing. On your notebook yes. in school. Like yeah. a dream journal? Oh. Yeah, or just, like, I just cut pictures out of magazines all the time. and You put cut their eyes out, too? No, I did not. Oh. I did not do that. Was it just me then? Cut individual letters out of the newspaper and create <laughs> letters with them. Yeah. What about you, Dima? Uh, in Russia, we had uh, gum, like little gum pieces, come with the little uh, pictures of whatever. Like bazooka gum. Like bazooka gum, but it was like different things. Uh, one of them was car, like little car, like super car speed racers. Like Lamborghinis and Ferraris. Lamborghinis, and stuff? yeah, and like air. Most of my friends were collecting that, and I tried it for a little bit, and I was like, I don't care less about cars, and I never did it. Interesting. Were they like sports cards? Yeah, size? like sports cards, hmm. yeah. That's interesting. Instead, I started collecting other things. <laughs> All right, moving along now to listener, <laughs> listener questions and comments. Uh, in addition to the quick questions that we get for the Funcast Blast, some of them are a little more long-form discussion, and we've got uh, a few today. Uh, but a special thanks to everyone who sent in questions. This week, I don't have to do it Speed Racer style uh, because we didn't have <laughs> as many. Uh, but hold on to the end of the podcast. That's not gone yet. Uh, special thanks to Lucas Bronner, David Vu, Yasmin, Ryan Matsumoto, a.k.a. Asian Tony Stark, Ryan Falgowski, which I wrote as Flagowski this year, or this Aww. week, uh, Evilicious, Josh Brady, Casey Marcello, Mike Chong, a.k.a. MC, Abe Archambault, Sean Logan, Stephen Tarpening, Alyssa Wu, and John H. I met a few people while we were in Dallas Fan Expo that came up to me and said, during that long laundry list that you went through real quick, you actually pronounced my name correctly. Whoa, I don't know how that happened. Nice. It was an accident. Subconsciously, you knew it. I might be getting better at this. And then Steven's going to email in and go, you got my last name completely <laughs> wrong. Uh, okay, first question from Sean Logan, a.k.a. Afro Freddy. Uh, and you hear his name repeatedly because he sends in a ton of good questions. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Sean. He'll be a good moderator on the panel. Yeah, he's, he's, good, uh, he's always fun to talk to at the events yeah. and stuff, too. Very personable fella. Sean, you're awesome. Um, yeah, we know it's an all-play. Rigged. 
Camera extremely rigged. Up first, what was your favorite moment from the Marvel Universe? And nothing from Endgame. It's too soon for that. Oh, well, yep. that doesn't seem fair at all. Nope. You know what? I'm picking one from Endgame. Okay, yeah, so tell me what to do. Spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler. If you, if you haven't seen Endgame by Get now, with it. what are you doing? Yeah. You have two weeks already. What is it? Yeah, by the time well, this is out, you will have had, like weeks. three weeks. Yeah. So You ain't living. Sorry. I, well, okay, so there's a lot of great moments, obviously, but I really loved um, when they go back in time to the Avengers and Captain America is fighting young Captain America. Thought that was great. Or he's like, I could do this all day. And he's like, Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and when he like walks into the elevator, and in the theater, I was watching it, and everybody was getting all like hyped up because the last time you saw Captain America get into an elevator with a bunch of bad guys, yes. you saw him. You know, you saw what happened. But the the way they handled that was even better. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, I was like, Are we gonna have a mirror of the same? Fight yeah, I was like, that'd be kind of boring. And yeah. People, when when he turned and said, "Hail Hydra," oh like somebody like near us just stood up and was like, Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> people were going crazy. <laughs> that was a great moment. It was awesome. Ashley? Um, I would say Guardian of the Galaxy, the first one, is probably one of my favorite movies when Star Lord is like walking through, <laughs> like kicking those lizards and stuff all around oh, with the good yeah. music. That's probably one of my favorite moments. Yes. Dima? My favorite moment was when uh, Thanos snapped fingers and everybody was gone. Yep. Mm. And uh, the shot of him sitting just chilling and I was like oh this is awesome because you never get to see really the uh, villain succeeding to getting what they want and then mm-hmm. like well I got what I wanted and now it's just time to chill now yeah I've never I haven't seen that in many movies so that was really, and it was really a cool. beautiful cinematic moment right the way they filmed it was where he was just like oh, time to relax you know I did all this stuff and I got nothing else to do right now so I just sit <laughs> <laughs> it was just like my favorite uh, yeah moment so many of my favorite moments came from Thor Ragnarok. I just mm-hmm. think uh, they did such an outstanding job with making that a balance of fun and action. And uh, and I love uh, like video montage scenes in movies or when they put just the right music for a moment. Uh, and that scene where he comes off the tower mm-hmm. as the true god of thunder and they're playing Led Zeppelin and he just drops on that army of people with a hammer. Oh my God, I've replayed that like a hundred <laughs> times in one sitting before while screaming the music. <laughs> so good. Yeah, just... Ah! Um, Thor Ragnarok is one of my favorite Marvel movies too and I would say my favorite moment is basically anything with Korg and Meek Mm -hmm. (laughs) good call (laughs) so good Uh, that's a great question Uh, Sean said mine is when Hulk slams Loki around uh, I guess in the Avengers the Mm -hmm. first one puny god All right, next question from Ryan Falgowski we're gonna we're gonna kind of do this one as a speed round because he sent it in multiple parts uh, but I liked it because it's Toy Story themed, and as some of you might know, there's some Toy Story pops and dorbs and other things out now. Absolutely. Uh, is that me? That is Cameron by a, mm, by I a don't sliver. know about that. Or wait, uh, it's Hillary. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Oh, wow, look at that. I adjusted the wheel. Double, Double rigged. Justice. Definitely rigged. Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll start, and we'll just go around uh, for each part of the of question. No, we'll one? do one okay. at a time here. Uh, who is your favorite character from the Toy Story movies? Mr. Potato Head. Oh, yeah. Probably the slinky dog. Non-conventionally, the troll in the third one that was getting his hair brushed by Buzz. Um, otherwise, <laughs> Buzz. Uh, green Army Man. I really like Buzz. Followed by Lotso. <laughs> uh, which of the three movies is your favorite? The first one. Also the first one. First one. I only seen the first one. So what? The first one. Uh, it would have been funny if you said, so the third one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first one, for sure. Uh, will you watch the fourth one when it comes out, or will you just watch it on a streaming service later? I'll see it. I'll probably see it. I'll see it opening weekend if there's time. I'll watch it on the streaming service. Mm. But only because I don't have much time. Otherwise, if I have my time, fair. I'll probably go see it like boy theater. I think on this last question, we should say who we are or who others are. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Characters. All right. We'll you know what I mean? pick the person oh. to our left. Oh yes, uh, but, but I'm going to answer that one. I definitely am going to see it. I, I think I've seen. I saw all three at theaters. I'm going to stick with tradition. Okay, so for this round, we'll start with Hillary, and okay. she's going to say the answer for the person <laughs> to her left. This is a curveball. If oh, you boy. were to no be softball. one of the Toy Story characters, which one would it be? So who would Cameron be in Toy Story? I feel like Cameron would be the Slinky Dog. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Cameron. I could see that. Who would Ashley be, Cameron? Probably without seeing it. 
in Toy Story 4, I would say probably uh, Bo Peep. Bo Peep? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see Bo Peep in the next one? Yeah. She's, she's badass. She's, she's a, awesome. I yeah. was going to say B.A., but he went for okay. it. Oh, I went for it. <laughs> um, Dima is definitely Sid. What? <laughs> oh, yes. That is My good. Gosh. I mean it in a good way, though. Not like a Or that creepy doll way. head, like, spider thing. Yeah, or that. <laughs> Something out of Sid's house. Yeah, I like that. One of the misfit toys. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. I'll take that. No offense taken. <laughs> Dima, who would I be? Uh, you would be a buddy of the buzz, but the mind definitely a booty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Combo pack. That's wow. right. Doing well, baby. Best of both worlds. I think I think just uh <laughs> I'm picking Hillary here. I think you would be Rex. I just like the the personality. <laughs> Great. I like that. Good. Like so it. if we ever recast all of Toy Story films, now you have your cast. All right, that was uh the question from Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Great one there. Uh, and finally, uh, from another Ryan, Matsumoto, we've got our final question of the week. What's one song that you never get tired of hearing? Me. Um, I would say almost every song on Portishead's Dummy album, oh, but Wandering yeah. Star is my favorite on there. So good. You know, it's probably a song. I feel like there was a period of time where everybody was sick of it, but I never got tired of hearing Get Lucky by Daft Punk. Mm, nice. I still like that song. That's it's still song. great. It's, it's, song. it's yeah. arguably their biggest recent hit. It definitely is, it's but good. it's like... It's still so good. It's good. It's so good. It's good. Um, I can't pick like a single song, but I would say most songs from the 70s and 80s that I grew up listening to with my parents, just like Fleetwood Mac and Tears for Fears and and stuff like that. I always like that stuff. Uh, One of you guys mentioned The Beach a few moments ago. The Beach? Mm -hmm. Hillary? That Mm -hmm. was me. Yeah. And for me, it'd be a song that comes on the soundtrack of The Beach by Faithless Woozy. I can listen to this song nonstop. I'm gonna. You'd think I go Lincoln Park, but I'm not going Rob Zombie. More human than human, and that got way overplayed. Still oh yeah, would. I thought you were gonna Still go Eminem. Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought so too. Too many napkins. Not There's enough napkins. I could name a hundred songs. Yeah. I, know. That is I, I can't pick one. There's yeah. no way. That's tough. It was, I guess you just has to be like in the mood for like which mm. mood are you in? All right, great questions. Again, if you'd like to email questions in for future Funcasts, please send them to podcast at Funko.com. Not a customer service channel. Uh, I've got uh, a little section for our uh, Funko Women of Power this week. We were looking to play another game like we did last week. I came up with something short and sweet, but I think it'll be fun, also difficult, Uh oh, but pretty quick. All right, let's do Where this. Where are my notes here? Uh-oh. The hardest <laughs> level expert. What did I do with this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where are, um, they? are they at your desk? Should we uh, pause it really quick? I thought oh. I printed them. Hold on. I can, Here, I can, can fix can this pause. on the fly. Pause I got it. this. Do you guys like melons? What kind of melon? Watermelon. Love it. I love watermelon. Just start naming melons and we'll try Pineapple's like not melons. a melon. Pineapples, broccoli. Honeydew is kind of nasty, Bro- though. I can't eat Best honeydew melon. or... Um, <laughs> Or cantaloupe, because I'm allergic to those. Mm. Okay. Oh, you get a Cantaloupe's issue, either huh? really good or a little right. ripe. Yes. We're going to talk fruit. Okay. Hey. What, what are you going to edit this out? This is high-quality content, talk. sir. Well, y'all, they'll talk about me when I leave. I really like kiwis. Kiwis? Mm-hmm. You know, kiwis make my mouth itchy sometimes. If, yeah, if you eat too many kiwis, they crack inside my mouth. <laughs> I heard what y'all said. I'm also going to need that kind of SpongeBob. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're talking some... Uh, Work talk in there. I'm talking potatoes. You might want to edit it out. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh yes. Oh yes. No one ever Quite. goes that route. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. <laughs> Crikey. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Let me set this up again. <laughs> so I came up with a Funko Women of Power game. It's it's a fairly short game uh, for comic book fans. I think they'll get this pretty quickly. For us, it might be hit or miss, but oh, I, I want to do it anyway. It's gonna be most a miss. Do we need our we'll little see. buzzers for this? Uh, no, I don't think we do. Are you sure? Well, actually, let's do it. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> Everybody grab at your buzzer. First up, uh, we'll... Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh give me that one. Can I be blue? Oh, yeah. Can I be blue? That's fine. <laughs> oh, this is going to get obnoxious. <laughs> okay, Hillary's noise is... Cameron's noise is... <laughs> Ashley... <laughs> Dima. Oh, there it is. 
Uh, 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 bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay. Come here, officer. Toot toot. Toot toot. The name of the game is Alias. I'm going to give you the alias, and you give me the female superhero. Whoa. That oh, uses okay. that alias. Oh, Let's okay. do this. Okay. Cameron, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, you're already Ashley, winning. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> I can't read. Uh, <laughs> me either. That's why I said congratulations. All right, good. <laughs> okay, so the example would be Carol Danvers. And you would... Captain Marvel. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I win. You get the practice point. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, he picked point. the only one I know. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, that was uh, ease of one. There's oh, there's oh. a ten or two in here. Whoa, yeah, a ten up. or two. All right, first up. I better just fold. Are you ready? Oh, Hands on buzzers. All right, uh, buzzing. Is. Jennifer <laughs> Walters. <laughs> Dima. Uh, Mermaid in New York. Hmm? No. Oh, do I get the next one? I believe I heard your buzzer next. She Hulk. You got it. <laughs> One point to Mermaid Hillary. Mermaid in New York? What yeah. is that? I, I like want to watch that. <laughs> so we're all playing a game this week, and Dima once again is playing his own game <laughs> right it. along with us. <laughs> all right, next clue. Are you ready? Natasha Romanoff. That sounds a fancy. Black year. Widow. Cameron for the points. Scarlet Widow. <laughs> <laughs> Weird Widow <mash-ups>. Johansson. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, I, I consider Wait, this one say? very difficult. Widow Johansson. I thought you said Are you ready? <laughs> did you say Cornholio? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bungholio? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need TP. All right, next one up is Anne Marie LeBeau. Oh. Do we lose points? No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we don't lose points. <laughs> Dima. Oh. Uh, repeat the question again. <laughs> Anne Marie LeBeau is your clue. <laughs> Not a question. <laughs> I didn't put a question mark there. I mean, you could LeBeau? say it like a question. Anne Marie LeBeau? Uh, yeah. Who is uh, Dr. Pepper? I don't know. <laughs> What's <laughs> your answer? There it is. Stop. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a little clue. Okay. Okay. The name LeBeau is often considered a name you would hear in Louisiana. Yeah. Cajun? Oh, Princess I guess Consuelo that. Banana Hammock. Yeah, but it, it's not Gambit. <laughs> no, but kind of put you down that path, I think. You're, you're close. <laughs> the Princess and the Frog? No? Nobody? Rogue. Princess. Oh. 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 <laughs> the workout clothes. All right. Her name is Rouge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Rouge one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rouge one. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next clue. Jessica Miriam Drew. I had no clue on oh. this one. Drew Barrymore. No, I, I know got this. this. One. <laughs> no, it is not Drew Barrymore. She's a superhero of mine. She's not in the Marvel universe, though. She will be. <gasps> hmm. <gasps> Spoilers. Jessica Marie Drew. Is it Jessica Jones? <laughs> no. I, I <laughs> three, hey, that is worth <laughs> asking. She belongs in a very popular verse. Sure. No, no one. You want to push the, that button. It's the Spider Verse. Yeah. Yeah. But is it Gwenpool? Is it? Quince. No, it's no, it's, no, <laughs> no. Spider Woman. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. of course. I'm Everyone's so sorry. Right now. These I'm are so tough. Sorry. Are I wouldn't have got that right either. Now. Okay, this one. Are you ready? <sighs> Jean Grey. I believe that, that was Phoenix. Like Cameron. Yes. I was say Hulk. Cameron. Two points. Dirk Phoenix. All right, Dirk just two more. Phoenix. Like I said, this is short and sweet. This is short. Are you ready? Sweet. Hands on buzzers. Bye. Doreen. Oh, sorry. That was that was not me. <laughs> you don't want to answer? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Squirrel girl. You got it. Nice. Oh I thought that was a guaranteed no cam. Squirrels. I was waiting for Dima to answer, yeah. but I guess you just I'm pressed the buzzer or whatever. Oh, oh, I don't know any of <laughs> Me either. Okay, well, here's your chance to win it. Either Hillary or Cam can Actually, take the whole thing with one yeah, point. let's do it. <laughs> Wanda Maximoff. Cam. Scarlet Witch. Yep. Got it. Nice. I think it's pronounced Wanda. Oh, I'm sorry. Wanda makes him off. Now, once again, I would like to donate half of my points to Dima. She was angry. Can we that do means... this with sports sometime? Yes, absolutely. That means Hillary is our winner with two points because Cam and uh, and uh, Dima over here have one and a half points each. <gasps> or Thanks video for games. Or... Okay. Uh, next up, let's talk general topics. And it's basically just a calendar of events for things that are coming up over the next couple of months. Hold on. Did I win the last game? 
You, no, you lost. I just oh. gave the point total. Did sir. you think we, you won? We that? tied for a second. <laughs> well, All right. Hold on, I, I got to like share. I got to share a story. Yeah. I'm giving you half oh, of my this points is like, to Ashley. Wait, you guys and have me, to. And I too. <laughs> so we. Hillary's still point. the winner. Yeah. yeah. You guys oh, okay. have to hear this story though. It's you so know what funny. I'm going at, don't you? Yep. We went and we sat at a restaurant while we were waiting on our plane because it was delayed an hour when we were leaving SeaTac to go to Dallas this past weekend, and at. We're all on our phones, and we had just ordered. We're waiting on our food, and all of a sudden, Dima turns to me and Hillary goes, "Are we going to Dallas?" Are we going to Dallas? We're like, "Hey, buddy, going? did you just wake up? Are you, are you okay?" Back. Welcome back. And we I, laughed about that all weekend. I wasn't sure where we were going exactly. I just, I just knew follow Hillary. Honestly, <laughs> you knew you were with the right people. That was people. obvious. Right, yeah. Honestly, almost every trip we go on, Dima turns to me and asks me what city we're going to. Yeah, I, in the airport. Hey. Is there one city where you would just you turn around and go home? No, wait, don't say that. Someone lives in that city and they'd be upset. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. I like all the cities. So uh, upcoming things for Funko, our calendar mm-hmm. of events. Uh, first up, for those of you who are paying attention, E3 exclusives were revealed this past weekend, I guess right when we left for Dallas. We have uh, so one more coming. Oh, there's another one. Mm-hmm. One more. Oh. One more. Actually, Actually like one and a half. What? Hold on. What? what? what Actually, are you making these up? No. I mean, one for sure. I guess half you could count. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Confused. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> you got us, but It's true, though. But E3 will be in Los Angeles June 11th through 13th. We'll have a, uh, a booth, joint effort with us and GameStop. We'll be exhibiting together. Uh, the reveals, all the exclusives, except for that one and a half, are on the blog over at Funko.com, including the information that they are shared. Everything shared with GameStop except for the Gears Pop. There you go. So if you want to go see what those exclusives are, if you want to get a look at the glam, if you want to get the info, Funko.com blog, go check it out. And if you have not gotten tickets or you don't know about E3, it's a big gaming convention, the biggest one in the U.S., I think, every year, with all the big reveals of the stuff that's coming up. And you can buy tickets even if you're not industry. The next thing after that (laughs) will be the start of Funko Friday giveaways at Funko Field. This was announced. It's also in our blog. Uh, It's a partnership with Funko Field and our friends over at the Aqua Sox. Uh, We will have some giveaways at Friday Home Games starting on June 21st. Question number one, what is a Funko Field? A Funko Field. The Aqua Sox, where they play baseball, their minor league team mm-hmm. has been renamed Funko Field. Where is it? Single A. It is right here in Everett, Washington. Oh. Off Broadway. Yeah, perfect. In addition to the giveaways, well, actually, some of these are the giveaways, but there will also be a mini helmet, Funko Field pin, and lanyard will be available, I think, for purchase. That's a giveaway. That is a giveaway as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, I read that wrong. Thank you. There's going to be, I think, uh, two pops to purchase there and then one at HQ. The Freddy go. in the Aqua Sox uniform will be at HQ exclusive. And there will be a t-shirt at some point. Yes. And we have one more figure potentially. Oh, look at this with the league least today. Mm-hmm. Does that make I can't confirm or deny. <laughs> yeah. Moving the table. Yeah, so if you want to see pictures of those, if you want to get more info on that, because there's also a link in there that takes you over to tickets for the Aqua Sox. If you want to purchase tickets for the game or just read up more, all that's in there. And then, of course, our friends at the Aqua Sox are sharing all this as well in their social channels. So We should follow. have a spitting contest. A spitting contest. On the field. Like, you know, like a because you associate yeah. spitting with baseball? Yes. Okay. Let's go. I would prefer a home run derby. I would like what to is always... That one? Have you ever seen a home run derby? I have not. What is Basically, that? the a pitcher... Throws up a, a pitch and the guy batting just tries to hit him out of the park every single time. It's fantastic. It's isn't the isn't best that, thing in baseball. Isn't that <laughs> the point of baseball? Well, in this, they no, but the they're, whole game? they're throwing up softballs. Yeah. They're not trying to strike them out. Softballs. This is Only. one case where softballs are okay. You know what they What's should do? Like An a easy really hit. easy pitch. Oh, like on the string? Yeah, on the string. That's yeah. a tether ball. Okay. A there should ball. be a frog jumping contest. Frog jump. That, <gasps> that is on brand. Yes. Right? They've probably done that before. I think we if should, they haven't, we should bring that back. Either people can jump like frogs and see how far they can jump, or yeah. we get some real frogs in there. I Camera, gotta go off. How high can you jump? Mm. I don't mean to brag. Yeah, eighty feet. Wow! wow. Yeah. Actually, you thought about it? I can jump thirty-six inches in the air, box jump. Real thirty-six inches? <laughs> That's unheard of. I can try and prove do 40. it. It's no eighty feet, but yeah. No. I really want to do 44 because there's a chick on Instagram I saw that yeah. that did it, and now I want to do 44. Is she? <laughs> Very tall. Mm-hmm. Oh, that could well. be the difference. Yeah. yeah, I don't see what you're implying. Yeah, are you calling me short? Yeah, <gasps> I think Ashley could jump fifty inches if she wanted Tima. to. <gasps> yeah, it's it's hard to get up there. 
It's, it, it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta fight the gravity. All right. So, Sully, how Hi. high can you? I used jump? to be able to jump. I don't. I don't jump much you anymore. anymore. Have no. you tried lately? No. What, what if like you had superpowers that you're not aware of that you? That's definitely not one of them. Are you sure? No. I mostly just roll. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, girl? <laughs> Rolling. Hating <laughs> Roland. <laughs> I mostly Rick just rolled. roll. <laughs> Roland. Uh, okay, anything else about Funko Field that we need to tell the folks? I think it's in the blog. Go check out time. the blog. Can people mm-hmm. come in and play the games? Uh, no, they don't allow just random people off the street to play minor league. That would actually be really fun, though. Yeah, just it's one like first person come, in your first And today in left field, it's Margaret's. <laughs> <laughs> Only Margaret's, Margaret's terrible. Best of luck. <laughs> oh, I would watch that. Every yeah, batter just it, but line drying them down the yeah. third baseline. <laughs> and amazing. And amazing. All right. And then uh, finally, on our short-term calendar of events, uh, at the end of June, Ace Comic Con will be back up in Seattle at the Wamu Theater and CenturyLink Field Event Center. And there will be not one, but two Funko panels that have been announced Uh, We don't have the date and time of these yet, but that will follow. There will be a general Funko panel that talks about the pop process and upcoming projects. And then there will be a live Funko Funcast. No way. It's true. By the way, Dima, would you like to join us for the live Funko Funcast? Mm, That's tempting. Yeah. Maybe you don't. You can't say no. So we'll see you on either that Saturday or Sunday at the con, most likely. I want to be the cool guy in the back and be like, "Yeah, I don't want to do it." So that is our upcoming events. There will be more the rest of the year. Once we have details, we will share them with you. It's not that we're trying to keep them a secret. It's just that we don't have all the details yet. And the last thing we want to do is tell you and then have to change that info. So it's coming your way. You guys holding us accountable. I like it. They do. All right, let's uh, let's talk giveaways. Last week, or two weeks ago now, in episode 107, I promised a Funko prize pack featuring a social media Freddy and other stuff from the store to a Twitter winner and a friend that they would tag. Twitter winner. Twitter winner. Twitter winner. I went through all the tweets and the random name came up and it is Twitter winner. <laughs> Today's daily double. <laughs> uh, our winner is Robert who is Treasure H 1984 and his friend Robert. Whoa. Who is Robert Ryder. I looked and they are two different people. I didn't didn't <laughs> okay. want him just creating another account. Seems suspicious. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, but Robert and Robert will both be getting a prize pack thanks to Robert who tagged Robert. <laughs> Robert and Robert and Robert us. and Robert and Robert and Robert. Congratulations. Robert. Robert and Robert. Brought to you by the law offices of Robert and Robert. <laughs> Robert, Robert, and Robert. Then over on SoundCloud, we uh, said jump in the conversation for a chance to win a social media Freddy Funko Pop and a fun cast shirt. This week's winner is Danny Hollinger, who I think believe or I believe joined us for the first time over the last couple of weeks. He commented again, and he's getting the prizes. Nice. Woo-hoo. Danny, Robert, Robert, we will DM you guys with details on claiming your prize. <laughs> And then this week, we've got another giveaway for you. Uh, if you would like to win a Social Media Freddy and some Freddy items, we're going to do the same thing again. Share the Funcast. Share a link to where people can listen. Include the hashtag Funko Funcast. That's F-U-N-K. Oh. 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 F-U-N-K-A-S-T. Uh, oh. Be sure to do all those things. Link. Hashtag. Friend. Tell them why they should listen. Put that on Twitter, and we'll pick winners in episode 109. Winner picker. Or shout them to the void. Ah! You can do that, but I'm not going to hear it. I'm not going to see it. So, Have you guys luck. seen the picture of a black hole yet? <clears throat> yeah. Sure did. It was yeah. in the paper. It was pretty nice. I was impressed. I saw it at Starbucks. You, was, what? It was on the paper. Was there, so. a, was there a Starbucks cup in Was there? the barista <laughs> eyes? <laughs> did someone accidentally <laughs> leave a Starbucks cup? <laughs> okay, I got another game for you guys. That never happens. This this might be a first. Have we ever played Double two games game. in no. one? Double game? Double game. This doesn't seem right. An no. old friend's back. We're playing the Rotten Tomatoes game again, which uh, has been hit or miss. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> What's this the, is a game I can get behind. <laughs> you do like this one? Yeah, okay, so I have the, a chance of winning. This is actually approved. The mm-hmm. concept of the game is I'm going to give you an actor or actress, and then we're going to go through a list of their <laughs> films, <laughs> and you're going to each get a turn to tell me for Who a movie, is it? if Who is it, it is Who is it? passing or failing, seventy <gasps> percent or higher passing on Rotten Tomatoes or lower. This week, the game is titled "Tom Hanks or what? No 
tanks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks much better printed than it does when I no say it out loud. No tanks or no, no tanks. T- no tea hanks. Tanks. Exactly. Tanks. Or is it T right. apostrophe hanks? Oh, it's T hanks. period hanks. Get down it's just on first it. initial. No, no, no. But what I'm saying. But it wouldn't that be T hanks? T hanks. T hanks. Thanks or no T hanks. That is better. Yeah. T hanks does imply the apostrophe. I like that. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna play four rounds. Okay. We're gonna go around starting round one with. Rigged, rigged, rigged. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it doesn't work uh, for me because I'm the clue giver, not the guesser. <laughs> the giver, not the guesser? Uh, we'll go with Dima. That looks like close to Dima. Dima. So I'm going to give you a movie. You yes. tell me pass or fail. And then you're going to give me a number. You will get points based on the difference between that number you give me and the actual number. Sounds good. You want to get low. Low number. Get, get low. low number. Get low. Last get time low, I got low, low, they gave me $5. So, sir. What? Huh? First movie to you, Toy Story 3. Did it pass or fail? And what was the number? Hmm. That was a tearjerker. I. <laughs> was it not? I didn't say it. I will say Yeah, neither it, did I. You, I it think it was where the troll was. It passed. It I've did pass. And sorry. what was the percentage? I almost cried. Probably it passed. Seen it some passed. Of those before on. I see the new one. It passed. <laughs> Is it like a middle, middle ground that's above? Passing the fifty percent, right? Seventy percent or higher passing. is passing. I almost cried in that movie. I'm going to go seventy six. Oh, it's a higher. You say seventy six. It that's was ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. Was you. Whoa! It was geez. basically the Citizen Kane of Pixar. It's, oh wow! Oh, have you seen <laughs> Citizen Kane? Have you? Yes. Well, no, I have not. I like it. I have not. It's a good movie. I had to watch it for a film class. Oh, you were not. It's not a fan? great. No. All right. It's not great. It's great at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is quality cinema. Not great. It was. It I mean. Was. To face it, most of the people in the film are never going to hear this. So. Yeah, so it's true. Forget it. Hillary. Too soon. Ooh. Too soon. <sighs> Too I dark. mean, Hillary. Shout out to Rosebud. Yes. Cloud Atlas. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. That's tough. I don't that even was. know what movie that is. <laughs> Me either. Oh, you don't? It was what made it by about? the, um, the uh, Wachowski siblings Not who made The Matrix. Oh, it also no. had Halle Berry. It, it failed. It did fail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember when it came out, I was like, well, that, that looks good, and I forgot about it. What percentage did it get, Hillary? 32. Uh, I'm sorry to say it got 67. Oh. So you, you get barely 35. Did I know. That's surprising. That's three away. I watched it's it, and I'm very surprised. because Halle Berry was in it. You in think it should be higher? Oh, probably. Lower. Is, no. that, is that like <laughs> Swordfish <laughs> Halle Berry? Yeah, what Halle Berry are we talking here? Uh, we're talking, talking Lenny Kravitz, Halle Berry? 15 Barry? years <laughs> past Swordfish. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Swordfish now. was like prime. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I don't, oh, that's the most dude thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> Captain Phillips. <laughs> Captain You're Phillips. You're not going to turn that down. Captain no, Phillips no. is, is fresh. You? Certified fresh. Is it certified fresh? You're correct. Wow. What percentage did it get? 82. You're closer than than we've been with the other guesses. Uh, at ninety three percent, you only get eleven. I don't wow. believe you. I don't think I know movies. It seems like a scam. Yeah. What yeah. is a movie? Yeah, what is a movie? Ashley, it's, like it's like a really long a movie vine. Is Bridge of Spies? <laughs> <laughs> Never seen it. It uh, Bridge of Spies didn't pass. pass. Fail. You, you say what? Didn't pass. It actually did pass. Oh damn it! But that helps you get in the, at least close to the number. What number uh, do you think it got? Uh, Eighty four. You got 91. So you get mm. only seven points. You're in the lead right now. Oh. <laughs> you don't say. You got the fun cast how number. This works. Out of here. Did I mention if you get it exactly right, there's a bonus? Yeah, I a think b- so. A b- b- bonus? You get zero <laughs> points if you get it exactly right. That's your bonus. Zero? Wow. We got All a right. jokester in the Round room. two. Yeah. We're starting with Dima again. <laughs> Boo. Yes. Boo. Big. Oh, great I film. I like that movie, and I will buy it for $12. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, so you yes. say it passes. <laughs> I'm helping you here. And <laughs> what number did the film get? What percentage? Hmm, that's uh, definitely a four out of five star situation. Uh-huh. Which equi- uh-huh. equivalates to... 80%? <laughs> Seven out of ten on IMDb? I need a number <laughs> with preferably two or three digits. <laughs> two to three, or there's three digits only 100%. It, I'm sure it did not do that. Single digits? No. So there's two digits. There is. I didn't give single digits right. as an option. Ten to ninety nine. Okay. okay. Well, we know that it. Okay. This well. is this is he, he's working through it. He's you realize we it. have yeah. to finish this podcast yes. at some yeah, point. Hold on. Uh, no. So, give me some numbers. To it. Just eighty eight, eighty four. <sighs> That's not good. Ninety one. Weigh in, please. Ninety one. Ninety two. 
I like that. Oh, but if you pick 92, you don't pick 93. Dave, and I'm giving you five two. seconds, and I need a five. Four. <laughs> is that a hit? <laughs> is that a hit? <laughs> that might be a hit. <laughs> All right, 93%. It was 97, so you only get four points for that round. That's that's the Hold best on, yet. Ni- 93. <laughs> no, you Hold don't on, have to nine, do the math. 93. You don't have to do the math. Last number is three. 100 minus three is 97. I got all the points. I won. Hillary. What yes. is this Illuminati stuff? <laughs> 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 the Money Pit. Ooh, Ooh, pass. Oak Island. Pass. No, that's a great movie. I'm going to say the past. Unfortunately, it did not. I agree. It was I a fantastic I movie. I love that movie. With Shelley Long. Yeah, when she... She sure. has like sleep deprivation and she sees Care Bears. When the the bathtub falls to the floor and he yeah. starts losing his ish. Oh gosh, that movie is really stressful. It made me never want to buy a house. It failed. What number did it get? It failed. Yeah. I'm gonna say it got um, fifty two. A very good guess. Forty seven. Hmm. Five good. points for you. Oh, no. <laughs> Cameron. Yeah. Joe versus the volcano. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that did not pass. It did not pass. It you did not pass, and it got like a, I don't know, a 42? 62, believe it or not. Oh, whatever. Oh, wow. A 20 oh, pointer for you. And then finally, like Ashley, winning. I think you're going to dig this one. You wanted sports? I'm giving you sports a league of their own. Passed. Ooh. Definitely passed. 96. Such I a wish. Good movie. 78. Oh, dang. Wow. So that is 18 points Fine. for you. Whatever. Still in the lead, I believe. Oh, Ashley. Yeah, you're in the lead. Whoop, whoop. All right, round whoop, three. Whoop. Dima. What's up, baby? I'm going to put a timer on for you this <laughs> <Why>? time. Because <laughs> of your <laughs> antics <laughs> in round two. I think we all remember round two from an hour ago. I we... <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you 10 seconds to give me a number. Is this because I'm Russian? It is <gasps> absolutely not because oh, you're Russian. All right. I don't know. Russian. I would Russian. rather like it because I was a Russian. It's in the Is name of the thing. Is it because you're trying to rush him? Yeah. Ah, remember that song? Eh. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Side note. <laughs> Russian the Russian. Is Russian. that is that okay or uh, is that not a, not Russian acceptable? American? I I did not. I wasn't here for 21 years to be called a Russian. Okay. okay. We'll deal with that later. Uh, all right. You're, you're moving. <laughs> and you've got 10 seconds from the time I finish the title. All right. Sleepless in Seattle. Ooh. Ooh that's the city where we're from all. I really like that city. It's in the name of the thing. I've never seen the movie, though. A lot of it's in Five, New York. Five, six, six yeah. seconds. Seven. It was a good eight, movie? Yeah. Nine. Oh, oh. I want to live ten. on a houseboat. Past. Your, give me a number. On a floating oh, house. Oh, I got you. Not worth doing. Yes. Dima. 81. Uh, I'm gonna go 80, 70. I should have disqualified 70. you already. <laughs> Why? Give me a number. Why don't you like? Oh, I don't like the pressure. Eighty-seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 87. Fourteen points. If you do it again, I'm giving you a hundred. <laughs> oh points. my god! <laughs> Next <laughs> round, you got ten <laughs> seconds. Or I'm giving you a hundred <laughs> points. Is that it's good? good should points? we should we I take a breakfast hot dog okay. break? Will I be winning? <laughs> don't, don't we need the points? You Is it bad to have numbers? You want oh. low, low numbers, numbers. apparently. Oh. Low I have numbers. learned this I too late in the game. Low numbers. <laughs> low numbers. Nobody told me. Low numbies. <laughs> Lum- <laughs> <laughs> low numbies. Low numbies. Yes. Have you seen Super Seattle? I have Australia. seen every movie on this <laughs> Thank list. You. Really? Oh. Yep. Do you like it? <laughs> Hillary. Yes. Sweet. Turner and Hooch. Oh. oh, great film. Yeah, I'm going to say it passed. <laughs> Citizen Kane? It did oh, not right. pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going mean, to go um, 51. Oh. Nice. Missed it by one. Oh. 52. One 52 point. points. I almost Way to go, said Hillary. 52. So proud. Very proud. <laughs> I like your shirt, Hillary. Thank you. It has birds on it. Yeah. Is that a dolphin? Cameron. Yes. <laughs> the thing, that thing you do. Mm-hmm. Okay, now. Also a good film. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a number... Between zero and one hundred. Yep. Yes. Castaway is that been on? that much is true. One hundred percent. It passed. It did. Pass. It certainly passed. Yep. Which puts it in the the neighborhood of seventy. Yes. Does is does seventy count as fresh? Seventy yes. and up. Seventy okay. would count as fresh. Have, I'm, I'm, I'll give you a clue. Seventy is not one of the numbers. I'm with oh, list. wait a minute. What uh, hey, he a clue hey, now, now yeah. I know it's favoritism. It, Twenty nine more options. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I right. think you should go over 100%. Do I need to put a timer should I go over? for you, sir? Uh, 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 this doesn't feel good, Dima. Two, nine, know, right? <laughs> it feels really bad. Hey, let's play a game. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to say 88. That's a good guess. It got 93, which gives you Ooh, I said 91 points. Ooh, I fell a little. Ashley. Yes, sir. You knew this was coming. Castaway. Nope. Oh. Sully. Oh, this plain one. I never saw it. 
<laughs> how dare you? <laughs> We've known pass. each other for how long? <laughs> He's so way when he how <laughs> dare you again? Sully, it passed. Sully doesn't go passed. by Sully because of Ca- Monsters, Inc. He oh, I did it see it. That was not a good pilot. movie. Oh, how dare you? It's not a good movie. Sully P. That Sullivan? Passed? It passed. Oh, my God. <laughs> you said it didn't pass. <laughs> so I think it's Sully's movie. Did you guys see that movie? No. no. It's not good. It was not good. The acting was You know awful Sully was it. in Sully. John Goodman played a character in... in in Sully. It's the Sully verse. Did he? Okay, um, 80. He got 86. Okay. So you are in the lead right now. <laughs> That's what I thought. Let's yeah. see if we can mess that up. Oh, Dima, we come back around are to you, Are we still sir. doing this? All right. <laughs> We're still doing this. Huh? I am serious about this. You All have right. 10 seconds or I'm you giving you 100 it. points. <gasps> Somehow I just should go in right in the 100. If I will get it under 5 seconds, will I get negative 100 points? No. Oh. It starts when I finish the title that is Saving Private Ryan. Uh, past 100%. Okay. That was very good on your part, <laughs> sir. I, I am kudos confident. to you. I don't mess around with that movie. It passed at 93, and you get the fun cast number seven. Can I get six? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hillary. Yes. The Green Mile. Passed. It did. I'm going to go... Uh, High 90s. Yeah, 92. 79. Oh, what? what? Okay. Oh, come on. Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> Call okay. in the rig. I didn't want to have to do this. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> That's what I feel for Bull. Hillary. That Why? is. That was, it was great nominated movie. for so much stuff when it was out. Yeah. yeah. Did it win, though? In that mouse. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Sully. The Da Vinci Code. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, Da Da Vinci. Uh, this old chestnut. Um, remember, that, remember that creepy albino in there? <laughs> did you know that Cameron? Did you know that Cameron is in the Illuminati? <laughs> did you know that mm-hmm. I actually? I starred in the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, um, it, it did infant? not pass. You are correct. He played General Da Vinci. It got like a sixty-five, probably. Is that your final answer? Sixty-six. Uh, Forty-eight. If it wasn't, I'd probably guess lower. But I'm going to keep it at sixty-five. Forty-eight. I, I, I applaud you. <laughs> is it uh, way lower? Twenty. Four. What? Whoa. I was a stink bomb. You know, I kind of liked that movie. That was a stinger. It, wasn't, it, it wasn't. brings you a real <clears throat> stinger at forty-one points right there. That, you know, I can oh, I can handle quick it. Math. Do you want me to give you some crunch the, crunch the numbers? Ashley, do you know the what the final movie is? Away. It is cast. Nice. Yeah. And what? Passed. Yes. What number? Eighty-eight. Oh, she got it exactly. No. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not done yet. Okay. Ashley is the clear leader right now. I'm not going to do the math until we're done yes. with everything. But yes, I do have a bonus I round. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Anybody who can give me either the highest Wilson. or lowest <laughs> of Tom Hanks' movies as ranked on Rotten Tomatoes, movies he starred in, will get a negative 25 points off their current total. Okay. But I'm just going to go around. You're each going to give me a movie. Then mm-hmm. I, at the end, I'll tell you if you got points or not. Okay. So we'll start with Dima again. Terminator. Terminator for Dima. <laughs> What? Well, don't even ask. Okay, I I can't think of any Tom Hanks movies right now except for Terminal. Terminal. You're gonna say was either 100. Do I have to say or like <laughs> t- or like lower than 24 because we had a 24. Uh, I don't. Can I just say either? <laughs> yeah, you can say either. Terminator two. Terminator two. I'm gonna go with Forrest Gump. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, that's a good guess. gosh, gosh, gosh. Uh, Toy oh, Story. but it's not it. <laughs> So the only nice. one to get points is Ashley. <laughs> it was Toy Story or Toy Story 2 both received 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. That's right. While My Life in Ruins from 2009, I have not seen, got 9%. <laughs> Nine. Stink bomb. So, Ashley, I think you just pretty much killed everybody else in this. Yeah. Let's yeah. See. <laughs> I have to bust out the old calculador here. Calculador? Uh-huh. Am I in the negative? Tell me I'm in the negative. Oh, that would be impressive. Uh, let's see. But no. Some quick <laughs> math puts Dima at 47. I yeah, don't know boo. how that happened. What? <laughs> Why are you booing me? <laughs> boo. If we deducted per Let second, you would, you, you'd be like 300 points. Uh, Hillary got 54. Oh, see? Oh, I, I definitely hit that triple, trippy digi. I have no idea trippy how this digi? You got goes. You got a bonus uh, fun cast number. doesn't get you anything, but you got 77. Boo. Oh, well. Blessings. Trippy digi. And Ashley ended up with six. As cute wow. as I am. <laughs> That's as, in this economy? As cute as I am. That was impressive, Ashley. One for Thank the you. ages. 
One for Thanks, the ages. Thanks, So if you guys like the game, you may play this with your friends. You can just use our clues and pause and then make them guess. Absolutely phenomenal. You would like it. I do. Thank you. Oh, did you like that? Did oh, you like that game, Nash? Or develop your own clues. It was a good game. Pick any your actor, actor or actress. I got some nominations for future uh, episodes. Somebody said we should do Johnny Depp. Oh, that would be great. Wouldn't that be fun? Mm-hmm. So we're never going to do Johnny Depp. Have we done now Stallone? Go study. Let's do Stallone. Stallone would be good. Mm-hmm. Or The Rock, because he did some bombs before he got big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whisper down. Yeah. All right. Hey, I would too. Oh, what about... Um, uh, our favorite actor. Goodman? No. Buscemi? Who's in everything but always looks different. Oh, oh, oh. I know Oldman. who you're talking about. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman, yep. Gary Oldman would be great because yeah. he's in so many movies. I thought for sure you were going to say... I thought it was going to uh, be Buscemi. Oh, I like a Buscemi. Vin Diesel. Mm-hmm. A Diesel? Vin lots. Diesel. Oh, I know what from. would be a low on the list is the, the Witcher or a witch movie or whatever probably it was would. called. Probably would. I liked it, actually. So, hey, when you guys tweet in this week, uh, or tweet and share the podcast, if you want to throw an actor name in there, maybe that will be a, a voting for future podcasts. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll keep doing this game. It is a fun one. All right. Uh, hey, uh, Hillary. Yep. Videos? Videos, you say? My videos, you say? We have some videos on our award-winning YouTube channel. I will not list them, but you can go on, go head on over to youtube.com slash original Funko to check out those videos. We do have a winner from last week um, from commenting on episode 105 they are at idgf williams <laughs> <laughs> we saw what you did there yeah, sir nice. <laughs> um please email podcast at funko.com to claim your prize it's going to be a surprise prize it's a surprise prize a surprise surprise prize so as i said before head on over to youtube.com slash original funko and be sure to subscribe to our channel nice Shall we do another giveaway this week? A giveaway, you say? Yeah. Just yeah. a little surprise for those who stuck around for the YouTube section. I think we should. Yeah. My feet are very cold right now. Shake them toes. Well, where's your doctor with the warm hands? I'm oh, sorry. Keep going. <laughs> that was important to say. Could you please put your shoes back on, sir? They are This is on. getting awkward. Pew. Get that away from me. Why are they in that bucket of ice? Dingle, dingle. <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to go uh, comment on one of our podcasts on YouTube... Yes. I might pick a winner again next week. Positivity is encouraged. <gasps> Positivity. But Positivity. not expected. I mean, it's kind of expected. But okay. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe expected. From, from our friends, from our Funcast listeners, yeah. yes, we, we count on them 100% for positivity. All right. How about cool stuff we saw last week? Oh, crap. I forgot about that one. We saw last week. You really grinded on that. <laughs> yeah. It felt good. Oh, I'm first. Wouldn't I that, liked it. Wouldn't that be Kind of loosened everything up. I didn't yeah. prep at all. A <laughs> 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 Um, We talked about it earlier. I think Endgame was by far the coolest thing in a long time. I, I loved it. We might have to do a podcast where we review it the whole, all the way with all of us. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see it again on, uh, on. I saw it in a regular theater. I want to see it on a big IMAX, not in 3D. Yeah, the I'm big IMAX, 3D. big sound. Yeah. Hillary. I have started watching the second season of Sabrina, um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I'm not done with it yet, but I like it a lot more than the first season. Oh, more than season one. Yeah, it gets a lot oh, darker. Then I should watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really good. I have to watch that Christmas episode, and it's like... It's good. It's good. It's just out of season. Oh, my Oh, gosh. you're fine. Come you'll on. like you'll, it. You'll live, Ashley. <sighs> fine. <laughs> Tamara? I watched the uh, Netflix series, I Think You Should Leave, over the weekend. It's a sketch comedy show. It's produced by the Lonely Island guys, and uh, it's just it's kind of absurd and really fun. And I really quick. It. It's like five or six episodes. Like Each, 22 like, minutes or they're something? They're super yeah. quick, yeah. Is anybody from Lonely Island in the show? Um, Andy Samberg's in one sketch, I think. But yeah. there's a bunch of people in it. It's good. Oh, I'm, it's you good. me at Lonely Island. I watched the um, Extremely Wicked documentary with... Uh, I guess it's a documentary? Is that what it is? With uh, Zac Efron as Ted Bundy. Oh. Which I thought that was going to theater, so I was a little I surprised so that too. was a Netflix. Hmm. Um, but it was an interesting... It was a different view on him. So uh, hmm. I... Uh, I recommend. I saw Tusiglo fighting yesterday on the roof. 
It was pretty sweet. In Everett? Mm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Is that being live streamed somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> was it uh, the parking garage? Yeah. Those babies like to poop. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> hey, see how aggressive the seagulls are in this When city? they're not pooping, oh. they're fighting. <laughs> they Stina's, really run Stina the city. Stina snapped yeah. that she was eating lunch out of the back of her car on the roof of the parking garage, and I was like, girl, you got to watch out for poop up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's dangerous. That's that's yeah. dangerous. dangerous. That is. She <laughs> likes to live on the edge. <laughs> I heard you do one. <laughs> it's the same. It's a what, ninth wonder of the world. We rarely pick Everett a Seagulls. podcast title from this deep, but this might be it. Everett Seagulls. They're big suckers, too. I feel they like are. they're bigger yeah. than normal. They are. Yeah, they're, they're like, like the size of cats. Yeah. <laughs> they escaped from a lab. <laughs> the lab. Underground. They're like, oh, no. <laughs> It's They're really hatched. fun to watch them open up um, fast food Doors. bags and eat burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Doors. <laughs> Clever girls. Just They're one ripping time. the tops off of school buses. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> do they ever go towards your guys' windows? This took a turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they do this spin move so that their poop lan- lands like <laughs> yeah. directly across our the, windows. Like, beautiful. <laughs> the bridge to walk from the parking yeah. lodge into the building is just... I don't even know how they do that. <laughs> they do a spin what did it do move? to the birds? Yeah. yeah, it's like, I hope you feel better. Sometimes we like, hear them on the roof. Oh, yeah, we can I've hear s- their feet clapping around. <laughs> I've yeah. seen a couple of times where I'm pretty sure the bird died shortly after that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is an organ that hit the window. Yeah. It's like a liver. <laughs> yeah, I wish everybody could see Cameron's face. Right I can't now. park on the top oh. of the parking garage. No, I just no, I can't, oh. and I won't. Because I parked up there once, and I no. think like a horde no. of seagulls ate a bunch of bad berries and then just oh, pooped yeah. all yeah. over my car. It's like 80 poops. What did you <laughs> do in the car? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I like birds. What could you if you wanted to play a prank on a coworker? What could you put on their car that would cause all the birds truck nuts? To Basically anything. And p- that's not where I was. Okay, headed. but it, what if you dipped the truck nuts in bird seed? Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're on. I looked into how much a pair of truck nuts <laughs> are. <laughs> Shut the shut They're expensive. I was going to put no. it on Jack's car because that's that thing looks like a Hot Wheel, so that'd be hilarious. That guy made a million dollars off those things. I believe it. Can you believe that? There's it's different sizes. Stop. You can get them for motorcycles, too. Can you put them on a bicycle? <laughs> on a unicycle? Yes. It pulls you backwards. It's just like on with a smaller screws up your balance. <laughs> can you? Like, oh crap! Can you get them on your heelys? <laughs> you can't go in reverse. <laughs> can you get them on the back of your heelys? <laughs> <laughs> just a little like. Sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. I believe that was. Did everybody get the cool stuff we saw last did you week? You get your cool stuff that you saw last week. <laughs> yeah, I did. Did we get all? Yeah, of I think we got yeah, it. Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> Of course, you were talking about <laughs> trying to get them for Jax's car. That's <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't see it for like a week, <laughs> at least. <laughs> You'd probably like break down and tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Have you looked at the back of your car? <laughs> be like, it's three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth forty dollars. <laughs> oh, a good joke always is. Yeah, for sure. See that flat? <laughs> <laughs> you need a video. Did I ever tell you the uh, the milkshake Aww. story? At one it of my previous jobs. Yeah, I thought I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's the whole story. Okay. No, this this guy I used to work with, he loved milkshakes from this one place in Houston, but they were like $8 a piece. They were really good milkshakes. And inevitably, he would take it back to work and slowly sip on it, and someone would knock it over. Like three separate times, <laughs> someone oh, knocked it over why? onto the ground in a styrofoam cup. Can't have it anymore. So we go over there, and we get one one day for him. He asked us to grab him one, so we did, but we bought an extra one. And then during... After while he's slow sipping, one of the girls walked up to him. Hey, can I can I have a sip of that shake? And he's like, Yeah, but be careful with it. He turns around. She just chucks it on the ground. <laughs> so splat, it's everywhere. He turns around, fuming. And when he's just about to scream at her, we take the other milkshake out and go, Gotcha. Who had to clean that up? Yeah. I did. know that's a great question. <laughs> he did. Remember. He had to clean that. I don't remember. Oh man, it was funny though. <laughs> All right, back for an encore performance. After last week, we got so many BDJs. comments that this was a a, uh, a good segment. Yeah, BDJ's now super speed, super speed, as BDJ. read by yours truly, sponsored by Truck Nuts. S S B D J S S B D J. They want to give me a free pair. I'll make sure she gets them. As proofread by Robert and Robert Law. This is how many jokes is that? There is so much like twinkle in your eyes when you say that. I thought about Jimmy rigging a pair. 
We have 11 jokes. Okay. 11. <laughs> brought to you by John Hilterbrand, Sean Logan, A. Barshambo, Josh Wait, Brady, time you. and Evilicious. 11 jokes I believe I can do in 25 seconds. 25 M&M seconds? Style. 25 okay. seconds. Too many that nights. is like, okay, crunch the numbers. How how fast do you have One to say? One every two, two. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust that. 35 seconds. Okay. One every three uh, seconds okay. I think I can do. Okay. Still impressive. All right. Can I get and let's in a timely fashion? Can I get someone on a timer? Because last week I'm that was a, a ten timer. minute segment. Okay. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're so good at it. I used to work in a shoe recycling shop. It was soul destroying. What do you call someone who points out the obvious? Someone who points out the obvious. What rock group has four guys who don't sing? Mount Rushmore. Why are hairdressers never late for work? They know all the shortcuts. Why did the judge shout when the skunk walked into the room? Odor in the court. <laughs> the two one, giant wind turbines are standing in a field. One turns to the other and asks, what kind of music do you like? The other responds, well, I'm a huge metal fan. Oh, what nice. app do cows use when they want a quick ride somewhere? Moober. Why do cows have hooves and not feet? They lack toes. Like What's one. the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster? Oh, I can't read that one. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, why did the king go to the dentist to get crowns on his teeth? Nice. 43. Nice. That was not bad. Uh, nice uh, you read yeah. the one offline. I, yeah, we're going to have to take that one offline. Wow. Sully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't read that one. It's borderline bad, but, but there's a couple words in there that make it bad, so mm. we'll oh, skip okay. that one. Right. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I think I could have done it in 40 had it not been for the like yeah. I know you could have. Yeah. Somehow that is funnier. I don't know it's why. It's great. Because <laughs> you shine your mind off. It's and great. Just, and just go. Just take yeah. yeah. Like All right. It. That's it for the week, I think. You All guys right. got anything else we want to share? <gasps> no. Nope, I that's think. it. Any words <laughs> of wisdom? <laughs> Dima. Words of wisdom. <laughs> for a few, few weeks, we've been working on this. We're going to do our sign offs. Three, two, one. Live deliciously. Live deliciously. I got you, baby. (laughs) I've been practicing (laughs) for the rest of us. In three, two, one. Got to go the (laughs) time.